So now let's work around with the keyframe in Cinema 4D. So keyframe are the crucial parts for animation. Right now here you can see that there's something called frames right here. 120 is what I set it up to and you can set the total number of frames right here. So let's say let me bring this back into something like 90 or 60. So 60 stands for two frames. Now uh, for uh, two seconds, uh, because like uh, the default play rate right now is 30 frames per second. So if I were to play this, you can see that in two seconds, it plays everything out. So now let us add in an animation accordingly. So I'm going to go over here and bring in an object. Let's bring something like a spear. Let me just align it according to the floor right here over here and then go back. So now I can add in an animation. So let's say I want to add an animation from that side to the right side. So now over here, you can see that there's the position. So let's start from somewhere like minus 2000, press enter, and it goes over here. So now what I can do is I can add in a keyframe. So let me just click on this um, icon right here, and you can see that the keyframe is added for this, just like this. So on frame zero, uh, this is set up. And if I were to go over here onto the right on 60, let's say I want to uh, get it into 2000 centimeter right here, and I'm going to click this again. You can see this th this actually turned yellow. So if I were to click it, you can see that a line actually makes up. So you have this and you have this as well, just like this. Let me just also add in a keyframe over to the Y right here. So on the Y as well. So just to make sure, I, because I want keyframe on all the axes. And I want to do this to make sure that I can move around and move it around in different spaces. And as you can see, this is in frame zero. This is in frame 60, the in-betweens are created by themselves. So if I were to play it, you got a smooth animation just like that. So now on the center, if I were to drag this upward, just like this, nothing happens right now. But if I were to click on the keyframe of Y axis, you can see that this path actually changes just like that. This is a spline, as you can see. Now, this is how the animation happens, just like that. So you can also change the inter interpolation to spine, linear or step right here. So you can have something like a step animation and so forth, which are going to see in further lessons itself. So these are how it works out. So you can work around with the individual spine right here and actually go over here onto the spear and then on the center, like in 60, you can actually drag it down, uh, add in some keyframe right here on this side. Let's say you want to go over here, add in a keyframe. You can see that the orange one is where the keyframe actually appears and so forth. So you can go over here. Uh, just like this on the left side and then you can drag this around over here as well add in a keyframe just like that so if I were to go over here onto the beginning play this out you can see that there's a bit of a smooth animation there you go so that is how you add in a keyframe and then create a path just like that so this is the manual way of adding a keyframe and another way to add it is automatically as well uh, which is what I prefer for quick animation so let me just bring in uh, something uh, like like a uh, torus for this one. So here is my torus and let me add in some animation. I want to have something and I want to enable the auto keyframe now so that I don't have to manually do this. So let me just click on the auto keyframe. Now the auto keyframe has been activated. So if I were to move it, everything is in place. So I, if I were to drag it onto the right side, drag it out, the keyframe has been made. Drag it up, the keyframe has been made. Drag it onto the left, the right, the keyframe has been made. You can see that it is much quicker. And uh, the good thing is about this is you don't have to remember to keyframe every time. The bad thing is that it adds in keyframe to all of the things right here. So, but if I were to add in a keyframe to scale as well, just like this, scale down right here. So it animates the scale as well as you can see. I can also work, work around with the rotation right over here. So you can see that there's a bit of a rotation as well. So the motion is there according to the keyframe. And this is the beauty of auto keyframe right here. And you might be used to this if you are uh, familiar with After Effects animation. So quite easy right there and fast way to add in a keyframe. And so we'll learn more about how to control the animation curves in the further lesson. So I hope you guys learned something about uh, keyframes in this lesson. So as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.